In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this carving axe. I begin my work with a pre-forged piece of C60 steel. I chose to do it this way to leave enough material for the eventual blade of the axe. The first step in axe making is usually to make the eye of the axe, and in this case I am using a special punching tool that I made for my hydraulic press. After the initial eye is punched, it's time to drift the eye of the axe. By drifting the eye, you can enlarge and shape the eye and it also allows you to forge the lugs of the axe. I try to forge the eye to about 90% completion before I forge the blade of the axe. I will go back and do the final details at the end of the process. It's now time to start forging the blade of the axe. I roughly draw it out of my hydraulic press and then I move over to my power hammer. When I'm done with the forging, I grind the axe to its final shape and I also do a rough grind on the edge. When the grinding is done, I heat the axe up again to put in my maker's mark. Before I quench the axe, I normalize it. You can think of normalizing like a spa treatment after a really, really long day working out. It relieves some of the stress that I have caused to the axe. Since this axe is made out of C60 steel, I quench the blade in water and then I temper it in the oven. To make the handle of the axe, I am starting out with a piece of ash. I then use my prototype to trace the handle shape before cutting it out on the bandsaw.
Since this is a carving axe, I thought the handle should be carved as well. To sharpen the axe, I used my Tormek water wheel. Thank you so much for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. In today's video we made a carving axe and this is quite a special axe because this is made in collaboration with the Spoon Crank and we have been developing this axe for close to a year now and we are finally at the stage where we are going to beta test this axe, actually getting it in the hands of you guys to try it out if you want to. So if you're interested in that there's a link in the description and in the comments I think where you can subscribe to what we are calling the Axe Odyssey. So you can try this axe that I'm holding in my hands for yourself and see what you like about it and give us some feedback. Uh, we're really excited about this, it's going to be really fun because we've been trying and testing and doing stuff and we're at the stage now that we are very happy with it, but the question is, are you guys happy with it? So if you're a carver and you're interested, check the link in the description to be part of the Axe Odyssey. It's going to be really fun. What's really fun about this axe is that it has a hand carved handle and uh, boy that was a challenge for me with my clumsy blacksmith hands to try and carve it with a knife. Uh, oof, it was a lot harder than I first thought when I sat down. I was like ah it'll be done in 10 minutes but boy it took me hours and I truly lost time. I was sitting there you know trying to get every line as good as I could but it's not perfect at all. But it is very nice to hold uh, and grip. I also tried this new handle wax which is called Lagoon Wax. You can also check that out if you want to. Not sponsored, I only like the product very much. Very I very much like the wax feeling on the handle. So since it's a carved handle I like it very much because it feels a bit more you know raw which I like. There's something to the aesthetic of a hand carved handle that I that really speaks to me. It's really, really nice to hold and grip and feel. It's, mm, I like it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, you can ask them in the comment sections. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you like the video, please like the video. That helps a lot, actually. And if you're a carver and interested in trying this axe out, check the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.